Hey guys, who is Mike Jones here with a quick tutorial on how to make your screenshots look better than they actually were. I use this method for a lot of my screenshots. I feel with these few touch-ups, you can really make your images stand out. The way I do it is I basically open it up in Photoshop. I then go to filter, camera raw filter. And what will happen is it will open up. And basically from here, this is kind of the only tool I use um, besides when I'm doing random touch-ups. What I like to do is I like to play with from here down just to get the look I'm going for. This screenshot's already pretty nice, but I just, I wanna get more blacks in there, more definition. Uh, I just wanna make it pop a lot more. So what I do is I usually just take the exposure and I just tweak it a little bit. And then I just keep going through each one of these until I see something that looks better than the last. I don't wanna make the sun too bright. That's how you get some of the darks in there. You adjust the shadows, whites, you do that. Blacks, just give it a little bit. I like having the, the deep blacks because it gives like really good definition. It allows people to kind of distinguish the objects better in the image. And then texture, what it does is it really like amps everything up a lot. So sometimes I do put that pretty high, um, especially in a shot like this because it might look like super muddy. If I don't, clarity will even amp it up more, but I don't know. It's just, it's, sometimes it's just a little too much, but then dehaze, what dehaze will do is it'll actually fix some of like the white, a lot of photos and stuff. There's always like this white layer that's over them. So what dehaze does is it kind of removes that a little bit. Um, sometimes I take like an account this, um, and I try to look to make sure it's as level as possible. Cause right now my shadows are pretty high, so I could like this to level it out you know you see it's a little bit more level just by doing those simple steps you can make your screenshots really pop and then another thing you can do too is you can actually amp up the color which using vibrance which will give you some really good skies but the problem is it'll it'll start making some of your greens turn yellow and you know so if you do use that just use it very minimally and then sometimes i even mess with the desaturation because i feel like rust is kind of a post-apocalyptic game so i'll uh Sometimes I'll remove some of the saturation just so it's it look kind of gives it that theme. But once you're done, you hit OK. You go from that to that, which uh, I think pops a lot more and makes what you're doing look really great. This is just a quick tutorial, but uh, thanks for watching.